Are you going to ask me a question? Yeah, I will. All right. We'll get back to you. Can we just make this about me for a second? Um, what made you want to become a mother? It was an accident. Actually, well, <laughs> that's not so bad. Cut. Hey everybody, I'm Adam Rippon, and I want to introduce to you one of my favorite people, my mom, Kelly. Thanks for having me. Let's get this started. When I was really mm -hmm. young and was starting to mm -hmm. skate a lot more, what made you take that next step to help me pursue what my dreams were? When I was driving you to New Jersey, mm -hmm. remember I think Craig came up to me, he was the rink manager or whatever, he came up to me and he said, um, how are you doing this? You're driving like two, two and a half hours in. I mean, you can't keep this up. How are you doing this? I said, because Craig, it's easy when you know it's temporary. Like everything is temporary. Yeah. You know, you know that's a very like athlete mentality. Yeah. I've right. always remembered you telling that story. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten me through like a lot of workouts mm -hmm. where I'm like, well, it's only temporary. In 10 minutes, this will be over. The whole idea with that philosophy, though, is it's temporary. You know, everything has a beginning and an end. But the thing is, you really have to be present in the middle. From my own experience mm -hmm. as an athlete, a lot of times people are like, enjoy the journey. Right. And like when somebody says that, right. you're like, yeah, oh, thank you so much. Right. Like, it's the uh, journey's amazing. Right. But like, you don't know what that means. Right. You know, that's why when you were competing, I knew like this would be enjoy Wissahick and open as much as you can because you're not going to get this opportunity. And a few years ago, you called me and said about you coming out, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's one of the things that we might not have agreed on, all right? Yeah. For one reason. I knew the the talk and the prejudice that existed in the sport. Well, in I the was, world, yeah. We were worried about the world after. I'm talking about <laughs> U.S. figure skating right now. I knew how important it was for to go to the Olympics because you need, you know... All the stars to align. Exactly. And that might be one thing that's too heavy for one of the stars get up there yeah and I told you that it was really important to me you convinced me because as we ended the conversation I said what you're, you're probably right. gay no 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 I knew that oh okay. um, <laughs> no I knew that um, All right, yeah I said I 100% support you because I didn't look at it like that yeah it was a higher purpose suddenly now I knew you were mature enough to say the the Olympics is awesome yeah but if I can't be who I am at the Olympics it's not so awesome. Right. Speaking of the Olympics, mm -hmm. what was your Olympic moment? I, you know, when Brady tried to say goodbye. The skating and everything was so great, but when your brother, we were they were leaving, and when. Brady hugged you and wouldn't let you go. And I saw like two grown men just respect each other so much, crying and seeing like his shoulders heaving with that kind of um, respect for you. Yeah, that's one of my Olympic moments. Too. That, was, that was probably my Olympic moment. Was there a moment that you said, I'm going to be a different sort of parent. I was divorced probably a year or so, and I was I had to kind of figure out how I was going to cope. And on the back of the deck, I wrote, in this house lives Adam a champion, uh, Tyler a creator, Brady a genius, Jordan a master teacher, Dagny a leader, um, and S Sawyer a multitude of joy, and Kelly blessed with abundance. And I made myself get up every morning and go out and have coffee on the deck. And read it. It's still out there on the deck. No, I covered it. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. I read it every day, right? Mm -hmm. And then it came true. Mm -hmm. Because you became a champion. Tyler is a creator. Brady is graduating from Columbia. Jordan is a master teacher. Dagny is quite the leader. And then uh, Sawyer's still multitude of joy. We grew up in an incredibly loving household. Yeah. But you demanded that we were excellent at what we did. And you reminded us of the hard work right. that it would take. No, I remember when we would disobey, we had like, our punishment was like, we had to sit on the couch for like, 
15 minutes and mm-hmm. like turn the other way or something. Yeah. Do you remember what I used to do when you and your brothers would fight? Yeah, we would have to hug. Yeah. For and 10 minutes that's or that's something. Such a good, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. You had to hug each other. Yeah. Because I said one day, I'm not going to be here. And you, this is all you've got. You better start <gasps> loving each other now. Damn. <laughs> It's dark. Do you think that because I was involved in sports at a really elite level, Mm -hmm. did you parent me differently than you did the other children? My expectation was the same, that you're true to yourself, that you're kind to other people, Mm -hmm. you know, that you don't break rules. The way that that expectation was formed and explained was different. Mm -hmm. When you were younger, it was easy for me to say, you didn't finish your science, you're not going to the rink. But then when you're going to like four continents or you're going to junior worlds, I mean, there's just too many people that are counting on you for me to go all mother and say, you're grounded, you're not going to practice. It it loads up the way that a person can parent. Did your parenting style change as you had more kids? Yes. As I got older, I became more relaxed and more confident as a mother. But I did notice once when you came home and you noticed Sawyer when he came home. I remember home. him. Yeah, you remember him. Yeah. Well, he came home and he dropped his backpack. And then you said to me, did you see what he just did? And I said, yeah, he'll get it in a minute. And you said, no, Sawyer, get back here. Do you remember what you said? Put your no. backpack on your back and go upstairs and put it away. And then he came downstairs and you said, okay, now do it nine more times. And I thought, <laughs> oh my God, he's turned into me. That's what I used to do to you. Okay, I have a few surprises. Okay. Remember I said when you started staying with the, your old coach, I thought it, you need to have your own home space. A little space, like yes. a little part of your table that's always going to be home so that you always felt connected. Yeah. You have yours, your little worry doll. Mm-hmm. And I thought I would bring mine. I bring this everywhere. Yeah. To every competition. Mm-hmm. She looks to be a little bit in better shape. Mine is, yeah. has worried a lot, obviously. <laughs> but yours is... Yours is not a care in the world, actually. <laughs> Mine is uh... <laughs> Do you know, there's actually, you, one of my, the most thoughtful gifts you ever gave me was this little, little box. Yeah. And um, our driveway at home yeah. is... Stones. Stones. And you actually put, like, maybe, like, ten of the small little stones in the mm-hmm. box. And I always, whenever I go to a competition, um, I always bring this, and I always mm-hmm. bring that little box of stones. Mm. Thanks for having me. Love you. We're gonna play a game, and we're gonna see how much we actually know about each other. Growing up, what was my favorite food? Bacon and watermelon? Is that true? (laughs) I had watermelon and bacon one time at a Holiday Inn Express. (laughs) My meatloaf? Is that right? Oh, that was. I said ice cream. Do you remember? That's so ordinary. (laughs) Okay. What was my least favorite food? Mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. You said you were allergic to them. You were not <laughs> allergic to mashed potatoes. Okay, wait. She used to say I was like being dramatic and I would like almost barf every single time. <laughs> I would have them. You you talk you're mad. Into it. No, I would you not. No. Yourself, you would waste perfectly good mashed potatoes. No. Oh my. What chore did I dislike the most? Shoveling snow? It was picking weeds. Oh, everyone hates it. Oh, I, oh, that was my secret, my secret character building tool. Yes. Yeah. What was my first job? Did you work at like a corner store or something like that? I don't no. know. No. <laughs> I was a furniture duster in a furniture store. What is my favorite food? And it's not like ice cream. Maraschino cherries. So bad for you. Wait. Sulfur dioxide, bad. <laughs> oh. I'll give you a hint, they're black. <laughs> Olives? Yes! Okay. Where would I like to travel to? A place that I've never been before. All right. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Oh, great. Antarctica. Close. The North Pole. Other side. The yeah. South Pole. No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've never given a hint. You've never played this game. N- Norway? Over a little. Sweden? Further. Finland? Been there. Come on. Over. Where? Iceland. Who doesn't want to go? <laughs> Who doesn't want to go there? I was joining the volcano. There's the volcano. 